morning you guys or i'm so used to starting my vlogs in the morning but i just said good morning even though it's 9 p.m uh i don't know if i'm just tired or what but hello it is 9 p.m on a tuesday today i had work and then i went to the gym and then i went to the asian grocery store in little tokyo so i'm gonna show you guys what i got if you're new here welcome to this vlog my name is marcella i am a software engineer based in los angeles california feel free to subscribe if you enjoy and yeah let me show you guys what i got before i keep rambling i got these sweet potatoes got some shiitake mushrooms some green onions some bok choy golden delicious apples got some persimmons. When I first moved to America, I didn't know the English word for this and I didn't know how to translate it from Albanian. So I kept telling people it's like a little pumpkin. None of my friends knew what it was, but now I know that they're called persimmons. I got one Asian pear. I also got some cumin and some paprika. A money saving tip for you all, keep the bottles of spices. When I finish it, I just buy these like refillable packets rather than buying a new bottle. Cause this is 79 cents as opposed to like a $3, $4, $5 bottle of cumin. I got these BCD Hoon Tofu Soup Kits. Um, I want to make sundubu or sundubu. I love BCD's tofu soup. And these are really good for a quick easy meal at home. I got some tofu for a stir fry. I got two bags of kimchi because I love kimchi. This one is a radish kimchi. Um, this one is just a, oh shoot. I did not mean to get two radish kimchi. This is supposed to be just the sliced cabbage kimchi, but I guess I have hella radish kimchi now. I did not realize that. I also have some just general kind of like American, I guess, items. So I got some of these for snacking. And then I got some roasted seaweed snacks, again, for snacking. So got a thing of oat milk. Today was laundry day. That's kind of also why I didn't start filming any earlier. I've done four loads of laundry and I have to fold most of it now. I really hate doing laundry. This is why I do four loads at a time because I keep procrastinating on it. I just hate doing laundry. Um, but I think I'm gonna get clean first. I wanna wash my hair, so I wanted to give it some time to dry before I sleep. Welcome to my bathroom. I'm gonna show you guys my skincare routine. I've been using Agency for the last, I think four months, ever since I was in my old apartment actually, so it's been a minute. And I'm actually super excited to be working with Agency on this video, so thank you so much to them for sponsoring. These are the only products I've been using on my skin. It's actually a very quick routine. One, two, three, and then I'm done, so it's very quick. I love that. These products are all from Agency. Agency is a personalized prescription skincare brand. When you first start using Agency, you take a quiz to kind of tell them about your skincare goals and also give your dermatology provider some more details about the current state of your skin. And then they give you a custom formula that will help you treat. That's actually this yellow bottle. This is my prescription to future formula by Agency. When I started with Agency, my skin goals were to reduce redness and also help treat fine lines. I'm 24 not getting younger. I gotta start thinking about that now. I can tell they listen to that because in my future formula, I have niacinamide, which helps improve skin elasticity. And then it also has azelaic acid, which also reduces redness and improves skin texture. I can really tell that the provider prioritize those goals of mine. And by the way, you can change the formula over time because you know, maybe your skincare goals might change. You can talk to your provider to adjust the formula before your next shipment comes. This guy is kind of like the star, but for the full routine, I first start out with cleansing my skin. I use their Cloud Care Cream Oil Cleanser. I actually really like that it's an oil-based cleanser, especially for the fall months because as it gets cooler in LA, it gets super dry and my skin really needs all its help to make sure it doesn't look super dried out. The fact that it's an oil-based cleanser actually leaves some of the hydration in my skin while still cleaning it, which is perfect for these cooler months. So that's the first step. After cleansing, I apply one pump of my Future Formula all over my skin. Just one pump, then layer all over your face. Simple as that. Then the last thing I do is moisturize. I use the Cloud Care Weightless Whipped Moisturizer. I love this little fella. He has really cool packaging. It's a moisturizer, so it does just as it says. Adds moisture to my skin, maintains moisture throughout the day. And I also really love the texture of it. That is my skincare routine. I actually cleansed, and then I took a shower, and then I applied my 
future formula and my moisturizer so that they can stay in overnight. I have absolutely loved the results I've seen. It is a gradual process. My skin is a lot less red than it used to be and um, it is a little bit tighter. If you want to try out Agency for yourself, which I highly recommend that you do, I will leave a link in the description. You're able to get your first month for free. You only have to pay $4.95 for shipping and handling, but you get your actual formula for free. I highly recommend you check it out. Now the time has come for me to fold my laundry. I am not looking forward to it, but it has to be done. So especially because it's all over my bed, so I need to do it before I go to sleep. I'm gonna do that and I will check back in with you guys in the morning. In my world, don't worry darling, I just smile cause you're by my side. And now your eyes open up every morning the love that shines in mine and i see it in yours too so now i sing to you and when you go leave me here all alone i'll be waiting you can't make it because i know that after all this time you'll read between these lines feeling fine Said, this is all you want. No more playing, playing, playing all this. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I call you mine. I know you feel the same as I do. No more playing, wishing, waiting. I was taking, 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 baby. Reminiscing on the time when we first met I was tongue-tied, stupefied What was it that I said? Probably something foolish That didn't make much sense But you remembered a year later when I saw you next When I told you Then I need to hold you You said come right on over I could not wait to show you I cherish all your life And after all this time Feeling fine Hi, good morning. It is currently 10, 22 a.m., 23 actually, I lied. I actually woke up pretty early this morning considering I've been waking up at like 9 a.m. for the last like two weeks. I woke up at eight. I actually have to get some stuff at work done. It's gonna be a fun day. The only thing I really have planned is later tonight, we're gonna be doing a wine Wednesday with board games with um, a few people we met at our building. So we're gonna meet down in the common area and bring board games wine and I'm gonna make a charcuterie board later. I might need to go to Whole Foods because I actually don't have a lot of stuff for it and the Asian market yesterday doesn't. Actually, they have some cheeses and some salamis and meats and stuff so they, I could make a cheese board there but all of the American stuff is like super overpriced. Like for example, a box of cereal is like $8. <laughs> so I never buy like American stuff at the market. That was a pretty long tangent. I reviewed a PR and I'm working on the current work I have. I'm gonna hop into this meeting now and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. I just got out of my meeting. We're coming up on a pretty big deadline. Um, I'm one of the two people working on a project that needs to be released soon. Um, the problem, actually I guess there's not a problem, it's just that when you're working with other people, there's the added bonus, or like when you're working with other people on things that are very integrated, it makes things a little difficult because, maybe it's not difficult, maybe it's that I'm learning. I think I'm just learning and it, right now I'm experiencing some difficulty like communication, things are moving a lot slower because they also have other work to do so I totally understand. But. Anyway, I think it's just a learning experience for me. But I am actually starving. I'm gonna make myself some oatmeal, I think. Baker oats, maple, and maple and brown sugar oatmeal. Ow, I just whacked myself with that. I also add a little bit of protein powder to it. It's vanilla, so it's really yummy. Every time I hold add a 
little bit of extra water to my oatmeal so that it's a little runny because when I add the protein powder, it'll dry it out, obviously. So not really a Pinterest worthy breakfast, but it does taste really good. yoga and i um, trying to do some more yoga each day. Then I'm gonna go for a walk, make lunch, come back and continue working. I actually don't have any more meetings for the rest of the day. My company started doing a Wednesday focus day, so they tell people to limit meetings on Wednesdays. I, I love when I don't have any meetings. I can basically just like heads down work for the rest of the day and get all my tickets out. the day get past me I thought it was like I don't know like I thought it was like 2 30 right now I really kind of want a matcha latte but I don't know it's 4 p.m. I think I'm just gonna go for it it is so dark in here today I don't know what the heck this has gotta be like the prime level of laziness I'm too lazy to like go get my tripod and like collapse all of its legs to make it shorter and put it put you guys on it on my kitchen countertop so I have you on a paper towel roll right now um, supreme laziness. 
but I want to get back to work. Um, so I, I've shown how I make my matcha before, but I literally put all the ingredients in here. I let the blender froth it up for me. The first thing is water. I was thirsty. This is the matcha I use. You can use any matcha that you like. I think the ones that are the best are the ceremonial grade matchas. I use about this much. I don't know, like maybe a little bit more than a teaspoon. And then the last thing I put in here is some maple syrup to sweeten it. I mix it. Hopefully it'll fit. I spilled some because I was trying to show you the colors. Very good. If you're curious why my screen is super orange sometimes, I use this thing called Flux to remove the blue light in my screen as the day goes on kind of like the equivalent of wearing blue light glasses um, and it kind of tracks your time zone and tracks when the sun sets and it removes the blue light from your screens very slowly but i just disabled it because i think it looks awful on camera anyway i'm gonna continue working <laughs> and to the UPS store. They're right around the corner from each other. I need to drop off like three Amazon returns. Long story, it's just like things I ordered and were not good quality, all plant related. Speaking of plants, they're not doing well and it's really not my fault. <laughs> Maybe the fact that my apartment doesn't get enough light, but let me show you. Three leaves have already fallen off of this guy and like these leaves were all just bright green before. This guy over here isn't doing well either. That's like his second fallen thing. His leaves are a little droopy. Some of them have spots on them. Um, he is overwatered, and I know that because I did get like a moisture meter from Amazon, so that was the one thing I'm keeping. But I haven't watered him. I have misted him once because I thought he might need it, but I have not watered him. I did get my plants from Home Depot though, so maybe they just didn't do a good job of taking care of them. They were cheaper than everywhere else, so maybe that's like indicative of that. We'll see if it just takes time for them to get used to it, but I guess my apartment doesn't get a lot of light as well, so it's a sad situation. But if these plants go, I'm probably just gonna get some fake ones. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go to Ralph's now. couldn't film at all. Other than the one room, like the yoga room, the rest of the gym was packed. There was somebody at like every section, I guess, of the gym. There's just so many people I was not about to film because those are some of the regulars that I see at the gym and I'm not trying to get some sort of reputation as the gal who just films herself at the gym, but I just did legs. So my legs are pretty wobbly, wobbly right now. Um, I did squats, deadlifts, leg, extension leg curl not extension rdls and then bulgarian split squats and then i called it a day i'm gonna shower now and then i'm gonna make a charcuterie and then i'm gonna make a charcuterie board and show you guys what i got at ralph's for the charcuterie board i will see you guys when it's charcuterie time the first thing that i got 
For the meats, I got this prosciutto and then this trio. I actually really like the zesty one and then I figured it's good for variety. For the cheeses, this one is my favorite. Highly recommend. This is a Gouda and then this is a Havarti cheese. I really like making my boards like sweet or fruit heavy, so I have lots of fruit. I've got grapes, Three kinds of apples, honey crisp, golden delicious, and gala, blueberries, and raspberries. I picked this up, I haven't tried it before. For crackers, these are like Ritz crackers from Trader Joe's. And then these ones are my absolute favorite, the pita bite ones from Trader Joe's. And then we picked these up and I am just now having one and I really don't like them that much, but they're good for variety. I'm gonna assemble a board. Basically the order I do things in is I wash the berries and the grapes so they can dry off while I'm doing everything else. And then I cut up the apples, and then I cut up the cheeses, and then I assemble. So I'm gonna do a time lapse. It should be kind of fun for you guys. You guys, I had you set up in this position for the last hour while I made this board, and it I didn't hit record because I was rushing. But it's now five minutes until we have to meet everyone, so I can't even do anything about it. But anyway, here's my board. I got I. Guess I'll tell you the order I put things in. I put the salamis first, then the cheeses, then everything else is just kind of random. But yeah, here she is. <laughs> oh, that's tragic. My my boyfriend is here and he's also sad. Here's another look at it. I'm so sad. I thought I was gonna make you. I was gonna do a time lapse for you, but she looks great. Good morning. It's the next morning and I am so sorry for like not getting any clips last night. It's not, it's very unlike me, but yeah, I was actually so sad. I had the camera set up for like an hour thinking it was recording, like what I was, when I was making the charcuterie board. It was not, it was not hit, it did not hit record apparently. Maybe in another video. I make charcuterie boards so often. But yeah, last night was actually really nice. We went down there and then we um, didn't actually play any board games. We just like sat around and chatted. This was only the first time I've hung out with them. Nice to just like um, meet new people. And they, all three of them are in finance and my boyfriend and I are in tech. So it was really nice to like get a different perspective on like various things. For, for example, we were talking about Apple versus Windows. This is just one small example because I don't want to, uh, but we were talking about Apple versus Windows and they like need to have Windows to work because they run crazy stuff on Excel. And for most developers, uh, Macs are generally easier to develop on than Windows. I couldn't imagine like not having a MacBook. <laughs> so anyway, that was just like fun to hear different perspectives. And I guess I've never talked about this on my channel, but I actually don't have many friends in LA. I feel like that's something everyone's been struggling with, especially after, especially quarantine and all this good stuff. But in general, it's hard to make friends as an adult or like when you're not in college. It was actually so hard for me transitioning from college to full time. Um, even though I, I still live in the same city I went to college, a lot of my close friends moved away so they moved to like different cities all over the u.s and so even though i'm in the same city a lot of my friends don't live here anymore going from having all your friends live within the same like i don't know two mile three mile radius um like when you're living near campus and like being able to hang out with them all the time and um you know see them frequently going from that to like now having only a few people you can really hang out with that you know at a new city and then after obviously with covid it was harder to meet people at work i worked for about six months before covid started so i had met people at work but in six months none of the relationships were like best you know like the ones that you like always hang out with or um and you know beginning of covid you didn't want to put people in like danger and like we were really hanging out with people so that all just to says to say it was like a really hard time because i didn't have a ton of friends like I had my roommates and my boyfriend but then it felt like I didn't have anybody else to hang out with and then you know previously like three months earlier when I was in college I had all of my friends and I could hang out with different people all the time I think I'm used to it now we do have friends it was just like requires more effort to hang out with them which is fine but again very nice that we met these guys and they were really cool and um hopefully we get to hang out with them again I think like literally one of them lives like a few doors down so um, and they were really nice. Really excited to have some friends in the building. It does feel kind of like college. It's like, what floor do you live on? <laughs> but it's fun. I guess I never really talk about that stuff on the YouTubes, but it is something to talk about. A lot of people struggle with making friends after college or like when you're 
an adult or whatever, like working full time, etc. So it's it's a common thing. I've heard it from lots of my friends. I do get jealous of a lot of my friends are in the San Francisco Bay Area, so I get really jealous of them because they get to hang out. I'm actually gonna go visit for Halloween weekend. Oh my god, I just got notification that my new phone has shipped. I'm so excited. I got the iPhone 13 Pro in the blue color just because I figured I'd try something new. I always got like black. This guy is quite old. I'm upgrading my phone and my computer this year. Disclaimer that I don't upgrade each year and I honestly think it's a little bit of a waste of money to upgrade each year. So I'm not trying to tell you to go buy your iPhone 13 if you've got like an iPhone 12. I'm on an iPhone 10. Uh, or iPhone X, not even like the XR. So this guy's pretty old and he um, doesn't hold any battery power. I always complain about that. Um, and he also doesn't have a good camera and I make YouTube videos and when I'm out and about, I film on my phone. I don't bring my camera that I'm recording on right now. I needed to upgrade for that reason. And then my laptop is four years old. I got a kind of cheap version when I first, when I got this because I was in college and I bought it with my internship money and I was like buying my first big purchase on my own and it was really nice but I didn't get it fully specced out so it doesn't have a lot of RAM and it has a terrible graphics card. Anyway, I don't recommend upgrading to the newest best thing all willy-nilly. Only do it when you have to and I'm actually kind of sad that I pretty much wasted, not wasted the money, I mean it is an investment, it's an investment in like my YouTube channel but it is a lot of money. I am rambling. I'm gonna go now. It's around 10 so I'm gonna jump into work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope uh, you found this video interesting and I will talk to you in another video. Cheers.